I want to thank God for the opportunity to appear on JCC TV this morning. It is wonderful. Uh, they say ladies first, but uh, I will do the introduction. Thank you. Um, Mr. Dominic Abor, um, a member of JCC, saved and blessed of the Lord. This is my lovely wife, Mrs. Phyllis Abor, a member of JCC and saved and blessed of the Lord. Amen. She is my wife. Uh, we met in, okay, we, we met in church and uh, that time, uh, um, as I told you, on another interview another day when I was talking about real estate that uh, we, we were very vibrant when we were youths and uh, as we, we are serving as youths and as we are serving God I remember I remember that time I used to wash the tent the church I used to come with the broom and the brush and wash and then after that we, we pray so along that sweeping and washing the church and praying somebody spotted me and that, that happens to Mr. Dominic and you know, uh, when, uh, you know, when you're doing that, you, you don't know people who are looking at you. So we were serving very faithfully and we had a zeal for God. So one time uh, we were just after, it was one of the, uh, during the, the services, after the service, he told him that I want to see you. And you know that time we, he was working already. He was a teacher at St uh, uh, Sacred Heart. Yes. So, you know, you, you look at these people, you see, these are people who are, what were Mendeleya. And we were still very young. So he just told me, you want to see me? And then uh, we, we had an appointment. Then he was very brief. You know, he's, uh, he's not a man of many words like I am. <laughs> so he just told me, I'm looking for a wife, not a girlfriend. I didn't like it. It, was, it looked like it was so... To me, it was so harsh. I expect any ambivi to vingine kido kido go. But I, I later I, I I loved that. You see, he's he knew what he was looking for, because he just told me I want I'm looking for a wife, but not a girlfriend. So I knew that. In fact, that is what uh, really got my attention because I was also I, I did want a joker. I wanted somebody who is focused, somebody who is serious, somebody who knows what he wants. Because I, I, was, I was a girl who knew what I wanted. And I told him, I'll give you an answer. So when uh, that time when he, I told him like that, I didn't know he was traveling. Then he disappeared for three months. <laughs> but I'm looking around, now this... <laughs> uh, so I, they had gone, uh, they had gone, uh, had gone to... We are going to France. Uh, France, yes. So I said, uh, I just continued serving God and I was wondering, this man told me that he had disappeared, he had not told me he was traveling. Then I said, uh, if, it's, if it's my man, he will come back. So I just, I went on doing my things as usual, serving God and doing my errands as usual. And then uh, January, that was uh, January 5th, I remember, when he landed at the airport. He, he, I was the first person he called that I've, I had traveled, I've come back and tomorrow I want to see you. I said, where have you been? As I'll explain. <laughs> so when he came, you know that time, during those three months, that statement was very heavy to me. You know, he looked somebody who is very focused and he knew what he wanted. So I did not even doubt even a bit because I was, I was telling God, if you're giving me a husband, you give me a serious husband, not jokers. Because I'm not a joker myself. So when he when he when he came, uh, when he told me that uh, my heart was ready, I was ready now to say yes to him because I liked the approach. It was very simple and precise, and he knew what he wanted. So when we met, I said yes to the proposal. Then the next thing he said, you know, I want us to arrange our wedding. I have no time. I've, at least I've served. Niakayangu is sasa nataka nianze familia. And we arranged our wedding within six months. So that was, uh, it, that was to me, that was very nice. And uh, Dominic is not a man of many words, but he means every word he says. That is what I love about him. 
So that is how we met. Well, <laughs> that was uh, the year 204, 205. Uh, we had been, uh, I've been seeing her for a long time in church. Um, since 1997, uh, yeah. when I landed in Mombasa, I went to another spiritual church for six months. Then I've been hero, hearing of JCC much earlier, since 1992. I was in Nairobi that time. And um, I'd been following up on the TV program. And I remember uh, my auntie, a sister to my uncle's wife, eh? stayed in Nairobi, occasionally would go to visit her. That was when I was in college at the university. And uh, incidentally, uh, Pastor Charles used to come to preach in Nairobi and they would uh, store their equipment in my auntie's house in Mudurwa estate. So I started uh, checking around. Why this closeness? I found out the history between Bishop Lai and Bishop Kwake. And when I landed in Mombasa, I said, let me go to that church. So I began going to JCC in the year 1997, uh, when we still had the tent at Ronald Gala uh, grounds. Uh, for some times, where nano evangelism is, eh? um, for a long time I was observing uh, the sister. That was then. For quite a long time, she had very many girlfriends, eh? and uh, she was very active in mission work. They would go out to preach elsewhere, and they would go to schools, to hospitals. I was very keen and checking around when the youth were meeting, the singles, the primes, I was in the mix. Uh, however, uh, sometimes you pray to God that you get what your heart feels. And they answer your, your, your prayers. They, I mean, God the Father, the Son, the Spirit. Eh? I told myself I needed a prayerful lady, one who is committed that I've seen for quite some times. And she was very flashy, by the way. Very, very flashy uh, at that time. And uh, I told myself I needed somebody of that kind, outgoing. Although I'm a reserved person, but for complimentary purposes, uh, I needed somebody to, to, to flavor up my reservedness. So I said, fine. Prayed, 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 and then I told God, give me somebody. I might not want to say that, but I think I have not told her. Somebody, I'm a barikua, namwili. So those are the issues that I was looking for, for sure. And that I can say without any iota of doubt. That's what I prayed for. And I told myself, God, I think I am seeing somebody around. Then that first meeting she's talking about was at Buxton. Um, we had been placing posters for crusades around. Eh? So we went back on a Saturday. On a Saturday after serving, I said, I think I need to have a date with my sister. Then on Sunday that followed, after the service, it was Pastor Kimeu who preached. I told her, could we have a cup of tea? Or could we have a meeting? Well, among the very many friends now, she's actually surrounded by so many of the girlfriends. So now I don't know how to pick off the girlfriends, eh? but I said, let, let's sit here. She can restaurant. We sat there. Uh, the friends actually gave her space. And I remember Pastor Kimeo was also in the same restaurant at the other corner. 
So we talked and talked and talked, took, actually took a cup of tea. And uh, of course, as she said, I threw up the, the few words. Tonight, uh, then I left it as such. And uh, we went away. Then I think sometimes, as she said, nearly suffered it all. Kuongeza masamo. So, nitsukumambia. And uh, actually, the only person who knew of my journey was the late Nancy. I don't know if you can remember her. No, it's Kutambo. That was a long time ago. Uh, and Ninda. <laughs> uh, Nancy Ninda. And um, Tony Njaramba. Mm. Yes. And I think Brother Chirima. I don't know, they might not mm, know. They yeah. Are. Mm. So, Nika Safiri. But I, Mizi, Nika Rudi, Nika Mpigia. Then uh, I landed in Nairobi, uh, spent a day the other side, and then came over the next day. Yotaretano. Nikaja, Nika Pata Watwang, Nikwa Naishina, nephews, cousins, and quite a number of people in my house. That is in King Oran, yeah? And Nikam Pigan, Nikam Ambia Basi, I think we can uh, meet another time. And um, we met at the Chinese restaurant in Gurshan. No, Moy Avenue. Yeah, oh yeah, sure, Moy sure. Avenue. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just briefly chatted. Briefly. Took uh, fruit salad, and uh, that's it. Went away. And uh, I was still nagging, in quotes. It's Japata Jibu, Unaelewa. And um, another time, after two weeks or something, we met at Gulshan, where she's saying, one appenda soup uh, to color, evo, 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 kaisha. <coughs> then we kind of not took potelea nikido around another two months or so. Then one day I went to Coast Bus to send a parcel home, and she had also gone to pick a parcel from Coast Bus. Eh? We bumped into each other. And then after bumping into each other, I think she thought I would ask for the what? For the reply. So basically she uh, tried going, you know. Okay, I was observing from far anyway. And then Akashika Njia, Sasa Kurudi, wherever she came from, through Mbetari. And then also now followed. Some we we met. Mbele, mbele, uko. <coughs> Come on, be a sister, how are you? Fine. Uh, actually, I could you like na. But sometimes, whatever you want, you go for it. Mm. Sometimes, it's also a test that, uh, are you serious? They must also play hard to get. Eh? And then, that day was not an answer anyway. So, we decided, fine, to Kasalimiana. Everybody went their way. I took my matatu to go whatever I should. She used to stay in Shelly Beach eh? uh, at that time. So I went my way also. Well, after, um, after some times, we call it uh, water under the bridge. And um, here we are, somewhere 206, August 26th, took a Fungandoa. But that was after a long process. Because when I came and informed the park, pastors, I informed Pastor Njaramba and Pastor Kimio. The two things they told me at different times, are you serious that you want to marry? I said, yes. They said, fine, you look quite uh, mature and quite orderly. I don't know whether that will be reflected. Then I said, Fine, I pray that God will allow me to do that. I am not so sure whether they met uh, somewhere else, I don't know. But that was me. Then they talked of now steps. 
Uh, the pastor said, now this is a lady, unamujua vizui. Wakaniuliza jina lake. Kasama, bla bla bla. Anatoka wapi, bla bla. Um, are, you, are you sure this is the person you need or you are trying out? Because <clears throat> I remember, before that, we used to have uh, primes meetings and uh, workshops and seminars. Huh? At one moment, somewhere in Chuda, there was a restaurant where Mrs. Bishop Bosco of Diani Okunda was the one giving us a talk. And she was, youth, be careful. Kuna matunda mengi katika umti. Usiende, ukienda sokuni kununua matunda, the owner or the seller will not allow you to keep unabonyeza bonyeza mm -hmm. because unaharibu. Mm -hmm. Atu hii meiva, haiva na unawacha uchukui. Mm -hmm. So don't do that to the ladies. Reflect. Ask God to give you both inner and the outer eye to see. And make a choice. Is it this one? You might bonyeza Mm -hmm. Until when you reach the last one, you don't know how the first one Test. looks like or tests. It's an eye opener to, mm. to, to many youth. Mm. And uh, I said, I think she's the one. And I believe she's the one. Huh? So, Wakasema, yes, you can now start the process. But the process is the first one. You talk to her. Have you agreed? And she said, yes. And then, initiate now things from home. That was Pastor Kimeo. Mm -hmm. you've, you've, you've jumped a step. Yeah. The status. Yeah, I'm the coming status. to that. Yeah, okay. I'm coming to that, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, thank you. Start from home. But there must be something that we have to go through, all of us. And the church cannot compromise on that. Mm. God sees everybody, but we might not see everybody ourselves. Huh? So we must, the era is not very good. Uh, we must uh, know our status. So you must go for test, medical test. And uh, this one, there is no question about it, no bargain, no buts. And uh, not you deciding or choosing who the doctor is going to be. Mm. We have a doctor who is going to do it. You will go to the hospital, you will find him there. Mm. We, have not, we will not tell you who he is. Mm. And the results, you will receive your own. Mm. So we went, we were directed to Mombasa Hospital. Yeah, Dr. Lima. Sometimes, later, I think a week or two, we decided now to, to go. Who do we find? Dr. Lema, who is a member of the church. Mm. And uh, he does his uh, job. <clears throat> we expect that uh, he would uh, tell us. But he says, uh, wait, we'll give you a call. So their results came out. One is normally sent to the church. church. I think Pastor Kimi has yeah. received it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, one is reserved for us. So we are not given before we get the information from the pastor. So when we go back, the pastor says, yes, we have your results here. Then we are given. And then they have a copy. Then they now say, this is like this, like that, like that. So we're okay, we are convinced that um, this can work. Again, can it work for both of you? Th that question kept on coming. How sure are you? So that uh, we don't make mistakes. Then we said, fine, we can now initiate the process. Well, in my mind, I was uh, saying, things are getting so slowly. I mean, uh, Dada, I may give consent. Kwanini sio haraka haraka. But it happens through stages. 
So we have to go to my place, you have to go to her place. In fact, they said, go to the waze. Wap. See, kwa nyumbani kuna baba, mama, kuna uncles, kuna grandma, father, blah, blah, blah. They are very important, actually. Agree with them that yes, it is possible. Cultures, will they be conflicting? Uh, we said now they are more or less the same. Different communities though, but uh, more or less the same. Mashemegi. Okay? So that, that was not a problem. So we went to my place, blah, 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 blah. Kwao, blah, blah, blah. To Karudi. Then we saw Pastor Njaramba. The late. And he said, Mshafanya Ivo, fine. Uh, wanangu nafkiri hapo sasa. Uh, first step is, is, is over. But there's a second step. You need to give yourself a grace period of rethinking. Think if really this is what you want to do. And think if what you want to do is with that person. Or maybe another person can come into the picture. Then I think we took a break of uh, one and a half months, I think, if I'm not off the mark. And uh, we went back to him. Then we said, I think we can now initiate the program or the process to what's its completion. Then Pastor Njaramba handed us over to Pastor Kimeo now to take over. Because there's that uh, marriage counseling and uh, training and blah, blah, blah. Because in the process of uh, <clears throat> trying to, uh, you know, check one another and internalize how you are, a lot more things might come up that you did not know. The question will come in. This person, you can see him or her now, the way they are during the day. Can you imagine seeing such a person when they have just woken up? They have not had any makeup. They have not showered. How will you take that? But now, the answer would be, and was, that's how they are created. So it is normal for somebody to wake up at a particular time, in a particular way, before they put on the makeups. This is the real person. Mm. Remember, this person will wake up next to you every other morning. Every other morning. We were able to go for the counseling. Pastor Kimo did it for three months, I think. Mm. We used to sometimes meet him in Pakistan, sometimes we come here. After that was over, then they said, now you can start thinking of the wedding, which we mm. did first. And uh, here we are. Mm. We are blessed with the two handsome sons. And uh, God answers prayers. You tell him what you want mm -hmm. and you work towards that and believe him that he can enable you to get it. And that's what happened to, to me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Uh, from 206? Yeah, from 206. 20, 20, 26th of August. Mm -hmm. Yes. Those are almost 18. 17. 15, 17, 16. Yeah. Mm.